September, a great month to catch up on some much needed sleep if you're Green Day, and an even better month for anyone looking to dive into some new games across several different genres. While October is shaping up to be a juggernaut of new releases that we haven't seen the likes of in several years, September is no slouch with what it has on offer. The most anticipated release of the month is easily Starfield, the Xbox Series X and S and PC exclusive that has been years in the making. Bethesda's big return to the AAA stage, Starfield is the biggest game of the current Xbox era, a massive tour of the universe in which players will be free to seek their destiny across the stars. Will you be an intrepid explorer sailing across the final frontier, a space pirate making a nefarious living, or a diplomat weaving between the politics of several factions? The choice is yours when Starfield arrives in early September. For fighting game fans looking to indulge in some vicious brawls, Mortal Kombat 1 is sure to be a massive highlight. A semi-reboot of the franchise that charts new territory for the series while preserving its history, Mortal Kombat 1 looks like a bloody good time with its intriguing story, signature savage combat, and its steadfast refusal to believe that the letter C exists. Another game to keep an eye out for is Baldur's Gate 3, which will be arriving on PS5 in September. After a successful launch on PC, and with an Xbox Series X and S version on the way, Baldur's Gate 3 brings its magic to PlayStation 5, a game in which you can explore fantasy lands, fight titanic monsters, and punt a squirrel into bloody giblets if you manage to roll a D20. On a lighter, but no less intense note, EA Sports is headed to the pitch with the first entry in its new soccer franchise, EA Sports FC 24. It's the start of a new series that is divorced from decades of FIFA games, but fret not soccer fans because you can still expect familiar gameplay, new enhancements, and tons of official club support in this game. Final Fantasy VII has essentially become a franchise within a franchise with a thousand stories to tell, with the latest being a mobile spin-off. Ever Crisis is a chapter-structured single-player experience that covers key elements of the Final Fantasy VII timeline, including both the original game, its spin-offs like Crisis Core, and more. Possibly the biggest draw here is that the game will explore the origins of Shinra's soldier program, an event that will see players discover more about Sephiroth before his descent into villainy. The latest chapter in Ubisoft's The Crew series is taking a page out of Forza Horizon's book, as this racing game sequel is celebrating car culture with a festival of activities. Some of the new features in this game include a series of short thematic campaigns that offer unique car culture experiences, an ever-changing program of activities, and of course, intense driving races and various competitive live events. There'll be hundreds of vehicles to collect, a Hawaiian island to explore, and plenty of post-launch support once the Crew Motorfest drifts into action. Still waiting for a Bloodborne sequel, or even a PC port. While From Software is busy with other projects right now, Lies of P developer Round 8 Studio is looking to deliver a spiritual successor to that beloved Soulsborne that puts a dark twist on the tale of Pinocchio. Lies of P wears its influences on its clockwork sleeves, but a gorgeous presentation, aggressive gameplay, and an in-depth weapon crafting system give it a unique identity. One of the most anticipated sequels of the year, Payday 3 once again tasks you with pulling off the ultimate bank heist and escaping from the long arm of the law with your ill-gotten gains. The legendary quartet of thieves are back in action and ready to empty the pockets of New York City, and with a few friends by your side, it's time to prove that greed is good when you hit Wall Street. You'll need to work hard and plan smart to get away with as much loot as possible, but every victory is designed to be a rewarding experience that adds more experience and skills to your arsenal, while also increasing your personal fortune. It's been a long road to redemption for Cyberpunk 2077, one that is reaching its end with the arrival of the spy thriller DLC Phantom Liberty. The one and only expansion for Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty is more than just a collection of extra story missions set in a new zone of Night City. CD Projekt Red has fundamentally overhauled Cyberpunk 2077 with this expansion, leaving virtually no aspect of the game untouched as it prepares to bow out and focus more of its efforts on a full sequel to this dark future playground of overpowered corporations, reckless body modification, and cyber ghosts walking the streets of Night City. Other highlights for September releases are listed in the description box. If you enjoyed this content and want to stay updated with all the latest game releases, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. See you on the flip side. I'm losing, I'm losing my mind, yeah. I'm losing, I'm losing my mind in this ghost town.